Hi, my name is Courtney Powers and I currently live in Philadelphia and I'm very, very honored to make this video for you today. One of my proudest moments is always watching how successful my students are after they leave me. After I've taught them music citizenship and how to be a good citizen and how to want music in their life even if they don't play it all the time or are in a symphony but if they can play in their community at home with their family that's what music citizenship gives students I love when students see me fail they saw me learning a J. Cole piano song and they heard me play it, they knew what I wanted it to sound like. And it took me a solid three or four months of failure to get it right. And having the students see that process of me working on a song and something I was passionate about, I think really rang home to them. Is when the Eagles went to the Super Bowl and I had my Bell students arrange and play the Eagles fight song and we made it on Fox 29 and all the kids and the parents were super super excited and the kids got recognized and they super loved it it was really really fun for them to be able to take pride in that and their arrangement if I'm teaching a hip-hop song I'm making sure I'm giving them that sample so like one of my favorite activities I did was um, the Beethoven rap with Nas I Can. The students learned all about Beethoven and they fell in love with him. They were like, oh my gosh, he's so cool. And I was like, we're gonna write a rap about him. And we did, and it's a student written rap. And one of the lines is, and the girl right in the front, she loved getting that line. One of my significant challenges was going through a divorce and my lunch bell crew was there for me. They were there for me every day for four years. Every lunch we ate together, talked, and made music. They came on their own lunchtime and I came on my own lunchtime. One of the quotes from my sixth grade bell student reads as follows. It takes hard work to be able to teach, but it takes harder work to teach the importance of learning and to make students understand that. Miss Noah, you have accomplished that. At Edison High School where I taught this year, most of my students did not speak English, but we were still successful because music transcends language and they understood the value of being a music citizen and wanting that end goal. The end goal. Mystery Skype. Where we can mystery Skype with a classroom, a music classroom across the country and the kids can see other kids learning music, learning the same thing that they're learning. Uh, if you've not played before, you're gonna play by the end of class and we're playing everything together. It takes a lot for the students to trust that and to trust me that they're not going to get embarrassed and that it's a safe environment to have fun and make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. It's okay. I sing in front of them and woo, I might miss a note, but that's part of music. That's part of the citizenship. We combined my Edison High School students with Suzanne Spencer's Benjamin Rush students. They've had about three or four years with the modern band technique and my students had less than three months. We combined them together into 10 groups. They had one hour to produce a song and performance. And they were super successful and super supportive of each other and magic happened. My students begged to go back. They saw a high school that they were able to use lockers. My high school at Edison, they don't get to use lockers. The kids got to see other kids and connect with them on Instagram and they saw the teachers collaborating and all of us working together as one whole. Even though we're way across the city from each other, we're still in the same city and we're still making music together. And that's my passion, is making music citizens. Sometimes I have families 
that work a couple different jobs and the kids are home a lot and they don't have much to do. So they're on their phone. Why not give them positive things to look at? I recorded whole violin lessons just so kids could have somebody to play along with when they practice. One of my favorite memories is of my first year of teaching where I collaborated with the art teacher to make Beatles album covers. And then it turned into a huge thing where we had the kids put them up on the wall, we laminated them, they voted on them, and even the newspaper came out and interviewed our students. Um, and they felt so empowered that their art was up there and they knew the songs on that album and they knew what the style of art was going with all the different types of Beatles albums that there were. Thank you so much for your time and I'm very, very honored to be a quarter finalist for the Grammy Music Educators Award. Thank you and have a great day.